I ask you who the most exciting man in mixed martial arts is today, I trust the answer just might be Justin Ray Gaethje. Realized a major championship outside the UFC. He has really taken this promotion by storm since signing with the MMA leader a few years ago. I mean, pace, pressure, aggressiveness, just meanness, a mentality that only allows him to pursue victory. Watching him against Edson Barbosa, with saying some of the strikes that he took to get the knockout was a sight to behold. Oh. The fight against Michael Johnson in his UFC debut. Michael Johnson was a top five guy in the world, and Justin Gaethje completely melted him with pressure and pace. Just one of the most active guys in the UFC on the roster. More bonuses than UFC fights. Need I say more? Justin Unreal. Gaethje back from more time. Well, if he is not the greatest UFC featherweight champion in the promotion's history, he is certainly on the short list. That 13-fight winning streak that he put together at 145 pounds, likely something, DC, that will never be duplicated in this division. Yes, it'll be very tough because it's such a tough division. The guys that he had to beat in order to go on a 13-fight win streak was unbelievable. It was unreal to see the names on that list that Max Holloway beat. But the crowning moment was when he beat Jose Aldo twice to win and keep his UFC featherweight championship. And then he only topped that in the destruction of Brian Ortega. Max Holloway is one of the best fighters, if not the best fighter, 145 pounds has ever seen. And with respect to Jose Aldo, Conor McGregor, and anybody else, the UFC featherweight record books read like Max Holloway's Wikipedia page. We'll see if he can add to that total here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Gaethje is three years his senior. The rest is roughly identical. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC walkerweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 24 wins, four losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Justin, the highlight, Gaethje. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 24 wins, 7 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Waianae, Hawaii, Max Blast. Holloway! All right, good rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. So here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both these competitors. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Gaethje gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Ah, that jab hurt him. Slips the shot. Oh, he tagged him with the jab on the counter. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. 
and he landed the right hand there. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Justin Gage. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, straight right. Final seconds around round one. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. So there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. All right, DC, here we go. Round two. How good is this? Max Holloway. Versus Justin, the highlight gauge. Under three minutes now to go in round two. Holloway gets stung by that leg kick. Oh, nice advance there by Gagey. Just relentless in his pursuit of not just perfection, but of the opponent. I mean, the pressure that he fights with is phenomenal. He's constantly in your face, constantly making you work, making you feel like there is no place for you to escape the pressure of Justin Gagey. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, what a jump. But now his opponent in a roll of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him. He's coming high. Now he's got hurt bad. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. 90 seconds now to go in this one. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll set he'll change his stance. Diving punch lands. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish his fight. Gets up again here, but hurt. All right, so 43 total strikes have landed for Max Holloway. And landing with 40% accuracy tonight against Justin Gage. Well, his corner was... Oh! Oh! oh shot there, DC, and... One more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Just below 50% now in terms of the accuracy rate, landing 46% tonight against Justin Gage. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes, and a good side, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Ooh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. 
Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the block. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. fighter in the UFC today. It's so fun to call a Justin Gaethje fight. People think he's reckless. People think he's a wild man. But Trevor Whitman has him locked in. His technique is beautiful. Oh! hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Gaethje's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never oh. know where he's going to be. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's doing a nice job here blocking these. What a fight so far! All right, let's check out some of the action DC and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Final round, ready? We have fight. arrived at this fifth and final round. Nice punch, man. Good work there on the feet by Max Holloway. We'll see if he can close the show now. Max Holloway's looking to finish. Max Holloway's on his game. Max is looking good. Max is ready to become the king. Oh, he's out. Oh, my goodness. What a performance. Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliano has called a stop to this contest at 31 seconds of round number five. Going the winner by knockout.
moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the one.